exactly six minutos, por favor. Six minutes after four o'clock in Tune to Radio Station WBAI, 99.5 FM, New York, WBAI.org. Don the Bar, how are you this morning? All right, how you doing? Not too bad, not too badly, as my mother would say, proper English. Not too badly. We got to remind the folks that um, this is the uh, season that you have to call 212-209-2950. That's 212-209-2950. To give to WBAI to keep it going. Why? Because we have great premiums like uh, Felipe Luciano comes in here at uh, 7 o'clock. What's going on with his show? And then he kicks it back with his... uh, Son at his side on a sabado. Por favor, para ti todos los días en imperialistico de Amerimaca. The point is this, democracy now comes in at 8 o'clock. Juan Gonzalez, Amy Goodman, to keep you politicized, followed by Mimi Rosenberg, Equal Rights and Justice. And don't forget, Michael G. has a fascinating show called Living in the City. And we have Don the Bar as a premium right now. Don the Bar, talk to me. You're the premium. You're the premium. I'm, I'm selling I'm your soul. Villain. I'm selling your soul to save my ass. How is that? <laughs> and we want top dollar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, we take NFTs too, right? <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah. We take whatever you got and what? then some. That's right. That's right. That's right. You gotta, you gotta keep this station on the air, folks. You gotta reach in your pocket once in a while. Yep. This is that once in a while. Yep, yep. I mean, wh- where are you going to hear Don the Bar? Where well, are you going to hear Don the Bar? You know, apart from if you listen to the San Francisco station, you'd still do that stuff for them, right? LA. Yeah. And in LA. Yeah, yeah, KPS, in LA. yeah. 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 I'm, I'm thinking like uh, the head of China. I'm thinking about the Golden yeah, Gate no, Bridge. That's, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's what Joe Biden is insulting his guests. I cannot believe that. Why would you open up your MF mouth and call me a dictator when you are an imperialist dog bombing people, killing them off with blood on your hands? I mean, <laughs> and you're doing this in your sleep, right? You're doing this in your sleep. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, he's. Definitely sleepwalking. Now, explain to me, Don the Bar. Everything is going rosy, like you said, they're making nice and nice. And I can see why you use that slogan when I I said to you, hey, they're gonna do this thing on uh, in San Francisco. And you say, Yeah, listen, they're gonna be nice and nice. Up to a point until that whatever opened up his mouth and said, Lister is a dictator. Don the bar, you're a bloody dictator. What what is the point? Explain it to me. Well, well, first of all, only his taxidermist knows for sure. Mm-hmm. But he's got some issues. Um, you know, I remember all of the psychiatrists and psychologists and nurses, aides in psychiatric hospitals and anybody else they could get to chime in, signing these letters to the universe saying Donald Trump has a narcissistic personality disorder, and this makes him not competent to be president and blah, 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 blah. And now this guy's sleepwalking. He's in two wars already, trying to start. He tried to start one with between, uh, or, you know, fire the one up between Armenia and Azerbaijan. He's threatening China. He goes to make nice after, after you know, all these American officials go to Taiwan and start talking nonsense and they start sending more weapons over there and they redeploy the Navy uh, to surround China and all of that, finally get, gets Xi Jinping to come over here and, and make nice and nice and meet with him. And uh, I don't know, was it 20 minutes later? He's calling him a communist dictator and all this other nonsense. I, I can't figure on what's going, figure out what's going on with him. If, if you know, he, 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 he he can't get off the stage. He walks in the wrong direction, and he's like he's a little boy lost on the stage when he's making public appearances. Um, he has a, a, a guy dressed up like the Easter Bunny leading him away from the press. He's, 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 he's clearly there's the lights aren't even on, let alone there's nobody home. Okay, it's the, like the windows are blacked out too. They don't even have those silhouettes like they used to have in the South Bronx back in the day. 
Um, there's just there's nothing in there. There's an empty room where, you know, between those ears. And yet, somebody's in charge of a war with Russia right now, by the way, uh, and, and a war of uh, Israel versus the universe, by the way. And um, they're trying to start one with China. Somebody else is doing this because it's clearly not this guy that, you know, it's like... The silos may be empty, but my pants are full. I mean, you know, what's up with them? I don't know the answer to that. Don, let me correct you. You said Israel versus the world. Let me correct that. It's imperialist USA having yeah. Israel do their dirty yeah. work. Yeah. Right? Well, of course. Don't let them off the hook, please. No, no, they, they admit right. it. I don't have to let them off the hook. All right. Even, even, even the ones that are running against the system, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. Bobby Kennedy, Israel is our aircraft carrier. You know, in the, uh, they did that term forever, by the way. So good <laughs> Um, and and another the, thing, the, uh, the yeah. The Middle East, and if it weren't for Israel, that you would have Russia and Iran and Saudi Arabia and Venezuela, let's yeah. them in, yeah. as uh, you know, in control of ninety percent of the world's oil. Well, guess why? Mm -hmm. Because it's their oil. What's the problem? <laughs> and and so Israel is there to thwart that, and they admit it, and, and they're not doing it on behalf of themselves, although they're cutting themselves in for a piece of it. And another thing, there's no qualification to be the head of Imperialist USA as far as I'm concerned. You know, there's absolutely no qualification for that. Well, that you have to keep going in the United States in over 30 <laughs> After that, you could be the you could be the craziest person in the universe. Which that's happened before, or you know the dumbest. That's happened uh, before too. And then this one is just you know, I could I could I could the most dimensive. I, I could I could wake up. Before. You're right. I could wake up this morning and go. I don't drink wine. I drink blood. Right. I'm el presidente de Estados de Unidos. <laughs> like, blue, blue, yeah. Blue, blue. Like, that was a draft of a Come in to my room. <laughs> I want to talk to you about the oil. <laughs> oh my God, you're cracking me up. Uh, I spoke to Don Don DeVar. I spoke to uh, your best friend, uh, David Katz. He sends his regards. He says he misses you. He wants to know how you're doing. Yeah, he, okay, yeah. How's he doing? yeah, he's doing good. He's hanging in there. Um, he's trying to survive uh, uh, Richie Sunak, who is attempting yeah. to uh, finalize a new pact with Rwanda after a central plank of uh, the British government immigration plan was ripped up and thrown in the garbage and flushed down the toilet by the, uh, their version of the Supremist Court, which is a privy council. A treaty which would have to be uh, ratified by the UK Parliament was being drawn up with uh, the government in uh, uh, Kigali, the Prime Minister said. Um, so this is what they want to do. They want to ship people to, uh, to Rwanda and then they end up getting killed. So what Richie says he's going to do is that when they send us a, 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 a fax or a telegram or some smoke signal that they're getting killed uh, the new treaty will say guess what we're gonna come and save your butt and then they come with body bags right yeah right that's all <laughs> and it's trouble and then and then he, he pull a fast card um, he got rid of one reactionary for another reactionary uh, David Cameron is back yeah. David Cameron is back as a foreign secretary after uh, he he was in the middle of a ten million dollar scandal, scandal. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> they do that. Though. They're desperate. Like, They're desperate. Example, huh? Like going all the way back to the you know early part of the twentieth century, Balfour was a PM, and then they made him foreign secretary. That's <laughs> happened a number of times. It's like a retirement plan or something. Yeah, yeah. If they could yeah. if they could bring back Maggie Thatcher, they would, right? Yeah. Well. You could bring her back. You need a Ouija board, maybe a small pile of dung, um, and uh, I don't know, some bad taste. I hear you. I hear you. So, what is this happening politically on on um, on um, on uh, your your scope? Before you get into that, I noticed that the IDF is so desperate. 
every little thing by the killing by the willing they try to blame on Hamas so they claim that Hamas has a headquarters no no you listen to the hype headquarters under the largest um, institutionalized people's hospital in Gaza and when you go down there and they show you all of this evidence you start scratching your head and say hold on hold on a little bit hey down the bar you switched the weed on me what am I looking at what kind of evidence is this three rusty guns uh, some uh, clothes dirty clothes or socks um, oh, little chef. you know it, it's ridiculous it's ridiculous I mean how can they get away with this look I, I admit the Ukraine is not signed on to the international court. Russia is not. Imperialist USA is not. However, when Putin made his first move, the international court was on the streets of the Ukraine, right? Is, yeah. Are there any international court individual sucking up all this evidence of breaking international law or this inhumane insanity stuff that's going on? Yeah, you got a few things working here. First of all, um, there's also the International Court of Justice. And every member of the United Nations, all 193 members, are subject to the jurisdiction of that. If you adopt the UN Charter, you know, if you're a nation state and you adopt the UN Charter, you know, you ratify it so it's in effect, then you are subject to the jurisdiction of the International Court of Justice. So that's a venue that could be listening to this, you know, hearing this case. And the uh, it requires somebody to bring it to the, to the court. And none of the 193 members, including all the ones with their mouths moving about how horrible everything is. Wait a minute, are you has, serious? Has brought that. I'm, you, I'm dead serious, yes. You're blowing my but mind. That's first. Secondly, at the ICC, there's already a file open on Israel-Palestine about the 2014 uh, bombings of Gaza by Israel, which killed about 2,000 people. And the ICC already said that Israel has committed war crimes. They're not doing anything about it, though. Although they did, they, did, they didn't charge anybody. They just found in a finding that they had committed war crimes. <laughs> they said it's too complicated. Excuse me. Um, too complicated, it takes too long to do an actual investigation and, and to bring an indictment. But it took them about 10 minutes with no investigation to indict Putin. So, and in Africa, all they have to do is just like, you know, look over that way, <laughs> see some black folks and say, oh, yeah, yeah, he did it, yep. And, and they indict, you know, they call, they call it the International Court for Africa. And, and except, uh, 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 what's his name, Milosevic. They indicted him, but of course he beat the rap, and then he died. So, it's possible, and what should be happening is the International Court of Justice should be, uh, you know, they should have had hearings already, and you know, there should be like, an, 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 there is an express uh, method for, um, you know, get, getting, in a situation like this, like an express method of getting some kind of action out of the court, uh -huh. you know, an injunction against them continuing, or some kind, some kind of court order, uh, you know, telling them to stop. Now, the problem is, uh, once you get a court order, now it goes back to the Security Council for enforcement. And the U.S., of course, will, or France, or uh, Britain, whichever puppet they decide to put on their you know, on their hand, uh, so, unless they wrap it around their own. So, in the meanwhile, court. in the meanwhile, you know, we saw, um, we saw people before the International Court showed up on the streets of the Ukraine walking around with all sorts of instruments preserving alleged uh, evidence and so on and so forth so in the case yeah, of the yeah. gaza who who is doing the similar thing the 45 uh, journalists that got killed yeah, or, or you know or the uh, people from the un who got killed there you know dozens of them mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. uh, or the people from the international red cross mm -hmm. who got killed, uh, you know a bunch of them also or of uh, the red crescent and also uh, some some uh, nationals from a variety of countries in Europe and the United States, um, and and also uh, we suspect. I mean, simple deduction tells you that if they're bombing the hell out of all of Gaza, and the you have uh, 
people who were quote unquote kidnapped and, and brought to Gaza from Israel, these so called hostages. They're bombing the hostages. They're blowing up everybody. They're bombing the hostages too. It's crazy. And in fact, the evidence came out that some of the uh, Israelis, a lot of the Israelis that were killed uh, on October 7th, were actually killed by the IDF who came in with guns blazing out of helicopters shooting everything that moved. Hmm. So. <laughs> You know, it's not about any of the nonsense that's in the... It's, it never is, of course. We, we know this. Yeah. Um, there, there's... Uh, somebody's got to... Today, Israel is telling the, the people of Gaza, now they have to leave the southern part of Gaza. In other words, the Palestinians out of Gaza. Strip. But we're not taking the land. But they're bombing... It's not about driving you out of Gaza. But they Get the hell out. But they're bombing... They're bombing... They're bombing that area too, right? Yeah, there's no so ceasefire in the north versus the south, right? Like, hey, we got a ceasefire in the south, so move to the south, here's the, right? Here's the here's the deal. I tell you, I'm going to blow up your house. I'm I'm going to be nice though, and I'm going to tell you I'm doing it. So get the hell out of your house. <laughs> and I feel like I'm not getting out of my house, and then you go kablam. I'm su supposedly that absolves me from the crime of killing you, because I gave you fair warning that if you let me steal your property. I was going to kill you. And, and that is the logic, and that's the legal reasoning of what's coming out of Tel Aviv, uh, pretending it to be coming out of Jerusalem, and Washington. Nobody in the world believes it. Everybody's looking at, at this thing. Nobody's doing a damn thing about it but talking. Yeah. You know, and it's like we have, we have to make sure we have this ide ideologically proper. You know, like the people that are getting blown up every day care about your ideology. What needs to be done is it has to be made to stop. Oh, God. People have to stop talking and, and get off their ass and do something. And it's not just protesting. I mean, that's useful. Yeah. But that doesn't stop a damn bomb from being dropped. True, true. Somebody has to figure out how to do that. Ceasefire. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's something that has to be adopted and adhered to. Because, you know, that. The, the, the Minsk agreements were ceasefire. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, and the only yeah. reason that they engaged in it was so that they could arm, finish arming Ukraine. And they, they've said so. Macron said so. Sarkozy said so. Um, Cameron said so. And who's the other moron from from the UK? And one of the morons from the United States admitted it, too. Uh, the, oh, a new one. You know, we... we did, never intended to do the Minsk agreements. We did that so that we could get you know necessary military aid to Ukraine, so they'd be able to fight when the fight came. Yeah, we're speaking to Don Today, DeBar. Yeah. We're speaking to Don DeBar right here at uh, your favorite radio station, WBAI Pacifica Radio at its very best, ninety nine Cinco, ninety nine point five FM, New York, twenty four minutes, veinte cuatro minutos after four o'clock right here. We're reminding you that um, we're asking you to keep this going. Sustainable strategy is to do the body system. Give to WBAI, that's uh, G-I-V-E, to, like the number, and then WBAI.org. And um, 212-209-2950 is the number. Better yet, snail mail, 388 Atlantic Avenue on the third floor. The third floor, let me look, with the ganja view, yeah. Third floor, 388 Atlantic Avenue on the third floor, Brooklyn, New York. Uno, uno, dos, uno, seven, one, one, two, one, seven. And down the bar, I need your help to help me convince especially the people who are financially um, challenged to call up right now or mail in bente cinco dollars you know every little make a mucker some people can give 500 some can give a thousand dollars let's do it all jointly people, right hmm? a lot a lot of people can do 20 10 bucks or 20 bucks a month mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know and, and that adds up yeah you know yeah 10 bucks a month is 120 dollars a year and you know, you get a thousand people doing that. That'll that'll pay some bills there. Ah, oh boy. So this morning, uh, Starbucks workers are going on strike. You heard about that, right? Yep. And they're gonna do the same strategy as a rolling strike, like what they do in England, like what the uh, U.S. auto workers were doing. And then I heard that um, the legacy workers are pissed off because um, the deal is not a deal, especially with General Motors. 
the the company that uh, Obama decided to bail out instead of bailing out the the people who got ripped off with their mortgage and here they turn against the workers because the workers don't own the means of production so it seems like that um, that deal is shaky right of course it is I mean the, the, the condition of workers in relation to the means of production hasn't changed a bit right um, and, and when, what we're talking about is the remnants of the auto workers there's something like 15 percent or less mm -hmm. of, of the membership that there was uh, 30 years ago 40 years ago, yeah, from 1980 one or something. You know, there was a million and a half then, now there's only 50,000. I don't remember the numbers, but it was 10% roughly. Yeah. And of course, it was close to 12. Yeah. So, you know, we've already, we've already suffered basically a loss of that workforce. So, I mean, you know, kudos to the people who were saving what's left. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's, that's really, that's like stopgap. That's not a victory. Those other people, the lucky ones are working in a supermarket or McDonald's or something now. The unlucky ones aren't working anywhere and trying to figure out how to eat. Yeah. And if you look at San Francisco, you know, before they swept the streets yesterday, or did before yesterday, or any of the other major cities in the United States, you can figure out what happened to those workers because a lot of them are living on the street in full display. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And so you can see them in hearses on their way from the hospital that they couldn't get any caring because they couldn't afford it or, or you know flying in a pool of blood because workers are going crazy because they're desperate they're shooting each other yep yep and I think it's is it is it is it Sweden or one of those European countries uh, they're not moving any Tesla vehicle off the wall because uh, the Tesla people are trying to organize. Well, first of all, that country is a union country, period. And uh, the reactionary pig who runs uh, Tesla has no regards for the workers. And he says the unions, they all can just drop dead as far as he's concerned. You know what I mean? So um, the, the, the uh, plumbers are on strike. The drivers are on strike across the whole country. Everybody has gone on strike. And uh, all those Tesla cars are still sitting there collecting dust. Uh, now, uh, this particular European country is a small market, so if the capitalist pig that runs Tesla figure that he's going to uh, pull his product out, all of Europe is watching and all the unions are getting ready to shut them down. You're aware of that, right? I'm not. Yeah, that's happening. That's happening. That's happening as we speak right now. Seriously. The battle of the workers owning the means of production. That's what I call a deal, right? Yeah, well, when they start um, talking about doing that at GM, Ford, whatever <laughs> they call Chrysler this week. Yeah, I'll um, go, you know, I'll like go buy Korean a car, companies, right? <laughs> the Korean companies, the Japanese companies, yeah, yeah. BMW, uh, Volkswagen, yeah. uh, Renault, etc., et et Kia, etc., etc. But then we'll talk. Tesla's share of the market is inconsequential compared to the other business listings. True, true. I, would, I suggest that, you know, people... 30 Elon minutes. Musk is a target right now. Okay? I know. Because, yeah. because he bought Twitter and he undid some of the... He, forget what he is. He undid <laughs> some things that these people don't like. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they, they like censoring Facebook and uh, all these other um, platforms. And they uncensored some of the stuff that was censored on Twitter, and suddenly Elon Musk was publicly enemy number one. Um, he is no hero of the workers for sure, but uh, neither are any of the other car companies that I just mentioned. Right. They're the ones that drove the workforce in the United States down to 10% of what it used to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Tesla. That happened before that that company was ever incorporated. Don DeBar, we're running out of time. It's exactly 30 minutes after the hour right here. 30 minutes after uh, 4 o'clock. How do we stay in touch with you? This was uh, fun. First by, first by going to uh, Give, D-I-V-E, mm -hmm. the number 2. W-B-A-I, -I. Give to W-B-A-I.org. W -B -I, <laughs> I love it. If you do that, I'll call you personally on your phone. Speak <laughs> your number. Oh my God! Um, are you still on our Facebooks, or you've yeah, been Facebook you've been exed off Facebook? Yeah, FBI not, not in a not box. 
How do we? Happens. When I disappear from Facebook, uh -huh. something big is about to happen. Uh -huh. Every time, something it was like when the war in Ukraine started. All these different things that happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but, uh, I get offended for like you know sneezing or something. I know, I know, I, I know. Don Don DeBar on Facebook and on VK.com it's like VictorCarl.com. Okay. Um, Don DeBar on Twitter at Don DeBar on Twitter and Truth Social. Um, I forget what the hell I am on Blue Sky. Don't worry about and, it. Uh, YouTube. Uh, we got imagination. Yeah. YouTube.com slash yeah. Don DeBoer. Okay. And Don DeBoer dot blogspot dot. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let's do this next week. Same place, same time. And, yeah, um, and <laughs> yeah, and we, we gotta do this at, uh, WSB 90.1 FM out in Stony Brook. Yeah. They've been asking for you, bro. You know my number? Yeah. yeah. I know. 5446. <laughs> that's my number. Hey. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. You take care of yourself, brother. All right. It's good. To, it's good to. It's good to have you. We'll do this. We'll do this next week. Same place. Same time. All right. Yeah, you got it. All right, okay. Take care, take care down the bar. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Down the bar. This is for you and your sister. Thanks for sitting in.